All right, man, we back. Marcy Sports Talk. We in the building. We cooking this morning, man. Probably going to go up in the brown noon, this video. Maybe in the morning. But, hey, appreciate it, man. Matthew Stafford has another back injury, and um, that's what they're reporting, okay? Uh, at, the, at the end of the day, all right, do the Lions take the same approach they took last year, force them to play through the back injury, still compete for games, and get a mid top ten draft pick if they're in that position. But um, of course, when you get older, uh, I was listening to a dude on the radio today from one hundred five point one. The Bums Jello said they've been down to get something out the refrigerator. His back gave out. When you get older, sometimes you just wake up with injuries: back hurting, toe hurting, leg hurting. My lower back was hurting. I couldn't. I don't even know why. I woke up feeling good, and I was trying to remember what did I pick up to make my lower back hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but at the end of the day. Injuries happen, especially when you're in a contact sport. Even though if you can't touch the quarterback no more, it happens. But he dismissed it. He said he plans uh, rush Chicago, and that's a dangerous game. So, you know what I'm saying? They might want to limit, you know, him dropping back five, seven times. It's raining. It's, I mean, excuse me, it's snowing. So, at the end of the day, that's a dangerous game, especially when you can't rely on the run game to get you through. So, that means Stafford's going to be dropping back 30, 35, 40 times in Soldier Field with wind. You know, maybe some some elements out there. It's not forecasted yet. Last time I looked, but he can be. You know, he, he can get re-injured, especially with Khalil Mack out there, Leonard Floyd, Roquan Smith, Eddie Goldman. They got the, they got the gang gang up front, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I think he'd be healthy enough. He been getting the ball out pretty quick. The line been protecting him. You know, it's been adequate. But if the Lions are in the same position they is last year, last year and they're not going to make the playoffs, I believe they should shut down Matthew Stafford. Not just for the benefit of getting a great draft pick. That, that's the benefit that come with that. But from the benefit of letting him heal. You know what I'm saying? Nobody could foresee his wife getting sick and, you know, and all that stuff. Then he has some broken bones in his back this offseason. Let him heal. Let him rest up. And I know he want to chase records. He want to trade stats. So at the end of the day, statistically, they could say he was a Hall of Famer, but they're not going to let you in. Because you don't have those glory moments. You don't have those big playoff moments. You don't have a Super Bowl moment. You didn't win nothing in Detroit. So if you want to win, if it gets to the point where it's out of touch, you know, rest them. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just keep going, you know, moving forward with the with the backup quarterback. But, you know, this offseason, I think it's imperative for them to find a developmental quarterback. You know, it could be one year away, two years away, three years away. You know what I'm saying? Get a mobile guy like the guy at Utah State and just develop him, pick his tools up. Stafford going to be going into his 12th year next year. You know what I'm saying? How, how many more years can you rely on him with no running game and, and, and the Bob Quinn subpar offensive line that he handpicked? All of them. I think Glasgow was his pick, which ain't he ain't doing bad. He was injured last week. Taylor Decker was his pick. Um, um, Rick Wagner was his pick. Ragnar was his pick. Joe Dow, uh, Joe Dow was his pick. And Kenny Wiggins was, was his pick. Maybe not through the draft, but... He hand picked those guys, so I think it's time to draft a developmental quarterback for Matthew Stafford um, for down the road, and he getting up there. You know, at what point do the Lions say we we going for it, or we not going for it, and we need to move on? Let Stafford go be great somewhere else, because you know it appears that you know they not it's not no urgency to to put a winner out the field. They really taking their time and and being cheap and and and, 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 and building the team the way that Bob Quinn wants to build it, but. Matthew Stafford ain't going to be playing forever. Everybody can't be Tom Brady. And if he wins something, he's going to be a Hall of Famer right away. With his numbers and with a Super Bowl ring or even the AFC Championship, he can, NFC Championship, he's going to win something. He's going to be, a, he gonna be, a, he gonna be a, a Hall of Famer. So, you know, if they're not going to do it for Matthew Stafford, you know what I'm saying, and put a winner around him, um, I think that's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? He's going to go out like Calvin. He's going to go out like Barry. He's going to go out like Lomas Brown. Blame the Lions organization for their lack of commitment to winning is the reason why, you know, he going to be struggling to get in the Hall of Fame where he didn't get the recognition that he deserved. But, hey, you know, it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business questions, inquiry, response, ship, video requests, um, keep sharing the videos. Man, I'm a little bit behind on messages, man. But I'll get there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Go hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Uh, on my other channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, entertainment. I do appreciate everybody, man, for real, for real. You know, just, man, we're going to keep pushing, keep putting that work in, keep being the most active channel that we can be. 
And uh, keep following me on all social medias. And uh, I'll keep putting it down. We gone.